Do you want to know how to instantly boost your business? It all starts with effective prioritization. Surprisingly, over 40% of marketers really struggle with the skill of knowing what to prioritize. However, pure prioritization can path the way to profit. So let's break down how you prioritize in marketing. In today's modern marketing, it feels like there are so many opportunities. Creators are winning on YouTube, social is hitting new stratospheres, and email marketing is so effective but always forgotten. There is so much going on, it feels quite stressful deciding what to focus on and what to do when really you want to do everything. If you try to do everything, you'll end up doing barely anything though. Doing three things at 100% is much better than doing six things at 60. But how do you know what to prioritize? Well, you watch this video and I'm gonna show you exactly how to build the best prioritization matrix that will make your life easier, your goals easier to reach, and help you sleep at night and have the good mornings you need. I'm Gina, I'm a marketing director from South London, and I've worked in startups and scale-ups my entire career for the last 15 years. And what I've found is that you cannot Google your way to good marketing. All of the answers to the questions that I had when I was starting out my career, I've put right here on this channel so you don't have to search anymore. So make sure you like, subscribe, follow along and check out all the free stuff that I have on my site because really I just want everyone to do better marketing. So a lack of prioritization can be way more problematic than people think it is. People think prioritization is purely what order to do things in, but actually it's stripping away what's important and focusing on what needs to be done in order to drive goals. Brands that know how to prioritize properly are way more successful. They also avoid the negative things of wasting resources, wasting time and creating burnout. In fact, Harvard Business Review found that if you can effectively prioritize, you are 63% more likely to be successful than any of your competitors. So it really is a true core skill. It's also a core skill that can be easily taught. Stop everything you're doing. I'm going to show you how to create your own prioritization matrix. Now, I didn't invent this. Some dude called Eisenhower did. Don't know why he was such a big deal. But he is well known for his effectiveness in prioritization. He even had a saying, there are two things, urgent and important. The urgent and not important, and the important are never urgent. We often get confused between these two things, urgent and important. In marketing, everything seems urgent, everything seems important. Urgency is often placed on someone's deadline or someone's idea of what is urgent. Important is often just used as a word because, well, it feels like everything is important. Defining those things and defining them to your team, you will already see a shift in what people think about in prioritization. But to really change the game, we are going to build out a matrix that means your life will be so much easier. It has genuinely changed my life and changed the way I approach marketing, so let's show you how to do it. Quite simply, a prioritization matrix is something that splits your tasks. Luckily for you, I've created one for completely free. So head to the comments, head to the description, and pick up your free Eisenhower slash Good Mornings matrix. Game changer. But let's talk through what the bits actually mean. We are going to divide our tasks into four different types. These four types of tasks are labeled in the Notion template, but let's just run through them. We have urgent and important. Anything that is under urgent and important is a do it now task, the top priority. These tasks genuinely require your immediate attention. These are things like next day deadlines, crises, emergencies, issues you didn't see coming. So you've got urgent and important, your top priority. What you do with these tasks, do it now. Eat the frog, don't hold off. Then you have important but not urgent. And with this bucket of tasks, these are going to be scheduled. These and tasks are important and critical for business, but they're not time constrained. They are not urgent. These tasks contribute to your overall goals. They are things that are a bit longer term. They are things like planning, scheduling, knowing your goals, going through everything that you're working towards. These are things that can be scheduled in, but they're very important. They can't be dropped off. They still have to happen. Then we have urgent but not important. And this is a very fine detail because anything that goes into this bracket of urgent, very timely, has to be done, very critical. So these tend to be things that come up during the day. Things like distractions, things like answering a question, things that will not wait, a lot of things that come up that need a quick reply, but they are not important. This bucket of tasks are the tasks you're going to delegate. Get them off your plate. They're time constrained, they're urgent, they need to happen, but they are not important. It's the lack of importance that means these go into the bucket to delegate. And then we have my favorite bucket, the not urgent and not important. When you deep dive into a lot of people's tasks list, and trust me, I do this on stand-ups on weekly get-togethers, you will find that there are a lot of tasks 
that actually fall into this bracket where they're neither urgent nor important. They're things that really do not move the business forward. Sometimes it's a bit of busy work, sometimes it's a bit of housekeeping, sometimes it's a bit of exploratory stuff. But anything that falls into this bucket, and trust me, it is a lot more than you think, forget about it. Take it off your list. Filter it out on the template that I've given you, but these do not need to factor into your day. It is not just busy work, extra work that goes into this. It is also things that actually don't matter. When you look at certain businesses, you will have picked up habits. You will have picked up functions that you do. You will have picked up things that you do for the sake of it. If you add everything that you do in your marketing department into this matrix, you will begin to see what is actually urgent, what is actually important, and what you should stop doing. That extra tweet, that extra post that actually making the graphic takes two days, that extra little thing that doesn't move the business forward and isn't time critical. This matrix is so powerful because it gives you a snapshot of everything that's happening in your business and actually makes you go, what do I do now? What do I delegate? What do I schedule? And what do we just forget about? And almost target yourself with a 20% forget rate because trust me, not everything is urgent and not everything is important and not everything actually needs to be done. So with this matrix, you will see exactly what needs to be prioritized, what needs to be scheduled, what needs to be delegated, and then what needs to be completely forgotten. And really focus on the completely forgotten because when you actually do this as a practice within your team, you will find that it's not just busy work. You will find that you are doing a lot of things that do not drive business goals forward and you can actually completely forget about. So with this matrix, you will see what you have to do now, what you have to schedule in, what you have to delegate, and what you just completely forget. And that sounds great, but how do we technically relate this back to marketing and make your marketing better and your growth bigger? So it's a good idea at this point to actually go and grab your free template and walk through this with me, because it's very, very visual. You will see in front of you exactly what you need to prioritize. You can clearly see where you need to focus your time and effort to make the maximum impact. But it doesn't stop there when we're looking at how we elevate our marketing. This is not just simply organizing your tasks, delegating and being more proactive. This wouldn't be good mornings if it just ended there. What this is, is making sure that you are prioritizing things that are driving company goals. You want to make sure that this Eisenhower matrix or this prioritization matrix maps exactly against your overall marketing goals and objectives. So how do you do that? Well, first off, you have to know exactly what you're trying to drive. A lot of my content is around creating goals because if you don't know what you're driving towards, how can you ever be successful? There is nothing worse than being in a department in a company that isn't quite sure what success looks like because you don't know where your efforts are going. So first things first, please make sure you have clearly defined goals, objectives, and KPIs. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, please check out one of my old videos. It's so important. Not focusing and not knowing what you're working towards is the killer of any industry. So go do that first. Once you've got those goals and you clearly know what you're driving, what you want to do is look at two quadrants. You want to look at the urgent and important quadrant, and you want to look at the not urgent, but important. So you throw away the others. Obviously you've got your task you've completely got rid of, but the stuff that you've delegated, the stuff that is urgent, but not important, that's not involved as well. We just have those two quadrants. We have urgent and important, and important but not urgent because these are the things that are important that is the key point importance in this matrix is driving your company goals forward so you want to look at these and you want to make sure that they are lining up with your company goals if they are not move them out of the matrix move them out of the quadrant put them somewhere else delegate them get rid of them completely scratch them off make sure anything important is driving your business forward. Similarly, match your goals against your matrix. If you have these two quadrants and there is nothing in there for a goal that you're working on, an objective you're working towards, you need to make sure you add it in. If you have a company goal and there is nothing in one of those two quadrants for that goal, you need to understand why. Is it because it's not timely enough? Is it because someone else in the business is looking after it? Is it because it's the wrong goal? But if that goal is not in those two quadrants, you are not working towards it, so you are not going to achieve it. So it works both ways. You look at your matrix and make sure it matches your goals. You look at your goals and make sure they're in your matrix. And then you'll be way more productive. But it doesn't end there. You need to keep on top of this. What is fantastic about this Notion template that I've built is that it grows with you. 
anything you edit, anything you change will be updated. You can add more in, you can add your team members, you can filter by person, you can manage your entire marketing department in here. Trust me, it changes your life and it's completely free because I've built it for you and it's free. But you need to make sure you're keeping up to date with it. A process or a product is only as good as the people that use it, so make sure you use it. Have your stand up on a Monday, have your matrix ready. Know who's working on what, know who's delegating, know which ones you're throwing in the bin you're getting away. Look at this matrix every day. Move things through your task list. Make sure that everyone is working towards this. As a marketer, it's your job to make sure you're prioritizing things that shift the business forward and hit goals. And this tool will change your life. I hope you enjoyed this. Big fan of the prioritization matrix. Do go get your free one. Let me know how it goes in the comments. Please do like, subscribe and follow on for more.